Hola gente, un saludo, bienvenidos a Gognir Games. Aquí estamos con Eleanor y empezamos nuevo caso. La última partida, ya habíamos terminado el último. Y bueno, parece que todo apunta que tendremos un asesinato parecido a los anteriores. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Vamos allá. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know. Fine morning, indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up in San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to sell. I just don't know how to dance to bebop. Greetings from sunny California. When's it going to stop? Venga. Oh, qué asco tener un compañero. First the letter and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want to turn into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. You can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make it. There will lead us up. I'm stealing myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead one. I used to sing it with a gig when you're working homicide. Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Vamos allá. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Find anything interesting? 
esta vez no hay joyas. Bueno, arrancadas me, me refiero. No, no me deja el cuerpo. Llévatelo. No drag marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Hmm. No parece que haya nada más. Vamos a llamar. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Parece que dice la verdad. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Goddamn captain's taking beats at the table. Ahora sí, ya vemos. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. <coughs> Superior Laundry Services, one, two, six, zero, West First Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks for your help. Can you keep things under control until Pinker and Carruthers finish up? Sure, Detective. We'll stay out of their way. Yahoo! Lo de los vagabundos yo lo dejaría para el final. Failing to follow. Can't be the same guy that I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, though. End of conversation. Understand?
At least the rain stopped. We can change back into those white bucks. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register, and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? estaba prestando atención F1363 vale ¿Qué te coño Ideas. Have a lead. Yes, Find sir. out the husband has to say. Ah, oh, conduce tú esta vez. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Terrelson? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. <coughs> I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You want to hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bumps think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Otro lado. Need to check if she was a regular. Excuse me, ladies. 
circumstantial. So she went out without her handbag? At least she was spared that particular indignity. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. No. We can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime scene. Lars was out in the rain last night. Bueno, bueno, bueno. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Nothing significant. Doesn't look like anything. Otra vez. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dial. I wonder why the picture was turned out. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Parece que está. Vale, creo que había algo más afuera. Sí, ya está este saliendo también. why anyone would want to hurt your wife. No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Mm. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body. Ah, yo me acuerdo que está la falla la primera vez. How do you expect to prove that? Yo puse duda. Imagino tiene que ser esta. Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a Siempre podéis retirar la acusación. No sé ahora si os contaba como mal o bien. No, no estoy seguro. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place. That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Vale, aquí seguro que no hay prueba, pero está claro que esconde algo. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own. Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. 
She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Do that? Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Yeah, 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 take it back. Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Creo que aquí podéis poner la chaqueta o las botas. Cualquiera de los dos puede servir. You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charleston. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's spot. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, you give in to Braj, you'll be given in to them your entire life. You could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks. Bueno, aquí lo iremos dejando chicos, seguiremos en la siguiente parte. Venga gente, un saludo, nos vemos, a cuidarse.